Hi guys, Coach Kane here, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. And today we're going to talk about option taking of the player who's in first receiver position and what options he should have available to him. And this is for all your coaches out there, how to help your attack to become a bit more dynamic, okay, to, to work on the principle that if you're going to break the line, you need to either hold them to go around them or you've got to stretch them to cut them. And that makes sense. I mean, if you want to go around a team, you've got to keep them bunched. You know, and there's ways of doing that and then spreading the ball to your wing who's in space. Or if you want to cut, go through them, you need to act like the ball's going to go wide, make the defense stretch, and then you bring in the, 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 the shorter ball and with a hard runner. So let's cut right to the chase. So what we have here, you see it's Gloucester versus Munster. Take note of the first receiver. Okay. Here what you see is a man from wide. Running a hard line. Now this man over here is picking up him. All right. This man now has to watch this guy. You know, because if he passes the ball to him, this guy's got to make the tackle. But what happens instead? Okay. Pretty well defended by Cobry, but it does just stop the defense long enough so that this man can't help go out wide too early. And there's the space out wide. Okay. So why did that work? Why did that work? All right? It's pretty simple. All right? The man coming from wide. Why does he come from so wide? He has to make it look realistic that he's going to be a legitimate ball carrier. All right? And uh, coming from wide, he runs a hard line. If he is a legitimate ball carrier and, and there's an option for him to get the ball, he should be able to take it. If he stands too flat and he's too slow, no one's going to take notice. They need You need him to, them to take notice of this kind of a player. So it's good for him to come from a hard, wide line, make it make it realistic that he's going to get the ball, and then uh, you use the behind ball, to, to the, the release ball that they call it, to the, uh, to the man who's running the overs line. Okay, now they, then someone's going to say, well, you know, coach, what happens if... They just start watching the overs guy. We stop watching the unders guy. Why do we have to even look at the unders guy? Maybe he's never going to get the ball. Maybe I'm playing against a team where they just do that, that decoy ball, goes behind the release ball. If that's the case, you've got to keep the defense honest. And how are we going to do that? Like so. All right. Just let it run. Okay, watch here. But first, first receiver... Here's your decoy in inverted commons. Now watch the defense. This man here wants to pick up the release ball. Mm -hmm. He's smart. He's like, okay, I read it. I can see what they're going to do. The ball's going to go behind. But does it go behind? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's just look at that again. We're going to look at it full time. So here we go. First receiver, is it going to go behind? No, it's not. Brilliant try. This is why Northern Hemisphere Rugby has become so good is that they, they're doing this now. And I mean, we've seen the Springboks do it as well. We've seen the All Blacks have been doing it for years. The Irish are masters at it. Okay. And um, the Wallabies are the guys who actually started this. Um, with your attack. You need to be able to bring this, this sort of thing in. This sort of thing should be happening from under 16 upwards. If you're an under 16 rugby coach and you're not doing this, okay, then you have a look at your, your coaching style. You, have to, you need to have a look at your, your side. We need to get our players to understand the, these, these principles, how to do this properly, not just doing it, not just going through it, but doing it properly. How am I, if I'm not running that, that decoy line, am I a legitimate ball carrier? Can, could I actually get the ball and be dangerous? Or am I running right next to... The first receiver just to go, just to, to, to tell everybody that, I'm, that it's going behind me. You know, the way Glass did that, that release pass was perfect. That was unbelievable. Also, another thing to take note of is that the ball carrier needs to take the ball to the defensive line to fix those two defensive players and then play behind it. If they're not fixing and they're reading the release ball, you play the little plus. Okay. I'd like you guys just to remember to like, subscribe and share this. If you want any more info on the Rugby Whisperer and any and anything rugby uh, related, this is how you're going to learn. This is going to be your education. My name is Coach Kane. I'm the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. Cheers.